holder of food. In any city, in any country, go to any restaurant you can get yourself to. Before doing this, you must have had your dinner first. If you seek for the object with an empty stomach, abandon the quest instead. Sit on any chair at any table you want upon entering. Call the waiter and tell him that you want to feed the children of the holder of food. Should the waiter give you a smile and give you a nod, he will think reluctantly to say sorry, and you must go home unless you are willing to feed the children. Be sincere. The waiter will then tell you that you are so generous to those who struggle to find food. The waiter will go to the kitchen to get a red tablecloth or a table napkin. Then he will hand you the cloth. Hold it firmly and don't lose its fold or else a great consequence will happen on your life. The waiter will tell you to follow him to the kitchen. Upon entering the kitchen, Smell the aroma of the food they cooked there. That will give you an appetite for the food the children of the holder of food would give you in return. Finally, the waiter will lead you inside a room. Inside is a chair and table set up. Sit on the chair and the waiter will tell you, I'll be right back and leave the room. While waiting, unfold the cloth and lay it on your lap. Do not lay your hands or your elbows on the table. It's etiquette not to do so. The waiter will return with a plate, fork and spoon, and lay them on the table and leave again, closing the door shut. Arrange the utensils in order near you. The fork on the left side, plate on the center, and spoon on the right side. Then close your eyes tightly and say, Here, I have food for you. You will hear three sets of footsteps. Open your eyes. You will be in some sort of restaurant's dirty kitchen. Eventually you will hear chewing sounds. You will feel your stomach receding. In front of you, three children eating the guts of a person. Don't attempt to see who the person is by looking at their face, or look at the children with disgust. They will stop eating and turn their attention to you. Just stare at them, then lick your lips. A sign that you like what they are eating, and one of the children will look at you, scoop meat from the person's guts, stand up, and bring it to you. The boy will ask, Do you want some? Say yes, and give him a smile. Pick up your plate, raise it near him, and the boy will put the meat on it. Tell the boy, thank you. Then say something good about the lump of meat he gave to you. Include the word delicious in the sentence that you want to say. Say it honestly, or the boy will get mad, and you will have a meeting with the boy's teeth ripping your flesh. Put the plate back on the center in front of you, then pick the fork first, then the spoon. Cut the meat with the fork and scoop the sliced part with the spoon. Eat the meat. Chew it properly, then swallow. Again, don't show any gestures of disgust and be careful not to make spills or the children will have more than a small meal for the night. Give the boy a smile and say, That was delicious. The boy will smile back and tell a story of how they managed to eat every day 
of how things will go chaotic outside the verge of sanity, and the mind of a being you call man will be abolished, of a fair warning their mother had said. They must never come together. Then close your eyes tightly, and a boy's voice will be heard. Thank you for the food. Open your eyes, and you will see the mother of the children standing in front of you. You may wonder what the warning means. You may want to ask her about it. The words may want to escape your lips. But a warning is a warning. She will raise her arm in front of herself and hand you a golden spoon. The golden spoon is object 456 of 2538. Learn to cherish the food that is given to you, and you will never be hungry again, not like the three children.